Uh, yo boys and uh, welcome back to the new video and today i'm gonna show you how you can get uh, better fps in roblox and this is the trick which i usually do and that's how i get the fps in all other games and yep i'm gonna show you right now i'm gonna just jump into the video right now the purpose of video is to make my sub to get like i want my subscriber uh, also have a, a good fps so yep so that's uh, we're gonna start this if you play on uh, microsoft store you download the roblox on your pc then it's not for you but if you are using the roblox from browser like chrome and you have roblox player then what you're gonna do is you need to find your roblox player and then you just need to right click open file location you need to go to uh platform content you need to go to pc texture okay so what you're gonna get is like i'm gonna just show you right now just don't just don't do this okay i'm gonna just show you right now uh because okay so i'm gonna start with the starting okay so when you enter inside your uh that roblox player you're gonna go to platform you're gonna go to pc you're gonna go to texture okay you're gonna go from uh pc to texture and then you will find this stuff and everyone will find this stuff okay aluminium brick and other stuff so what are you gonna do you're gonna right click you're gonna make a new folder and you can name it whatever you want to do for for me because this is texture so i'm going to give it to roblox texture okay now this is the very important step so listen carefully so yeah there is my folder you can see it's uh, empty right now now what are you going to do you're going to right click it open in new window because it will be easier so you need to copy all the folders which are outside the uh folder outside your roblox texture folder you need to copy those folders inside your uh you need to copy those fo folders inside okay so i just copied this uh these folders now i'm gonna copy this you need to copy all the folders inside your roblox texture and there you go uh, you just need to copy in case if you want your uh old graphics back so this is like security for like that your folder is not gonna so now you have seen before my roblox texture folder was empty but now you can see these files okay aluminium brick cobblestone concrete diamond plate fabric glass these are the same folders uh now i will open my roblox texture folder okay so you will see the same folders inside my roblox texture folder so what we have done is uh we put all the folders inside a folder which you made and name i named it roblox texture so i copied all all the folders and i put it inside the roblox texture okay so when you've done this and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna delete all the folders outside the roblox texture you don't need to delete the folder which you made okay just remember that and you need to delete all of the stuff and you need to delete this and you need to delete this you need to delete this and yeah just just uh don't delete this okay you just need to delete folder you don't need to delete this picture this studs and wang index okay and yeah that's it that's it now i'm gonna show you uh how much fps you're gonna get inside okay so if you don't use this fps unlocker thing use it right now i will uh i will give you the link of this fps unlocker this fps unlocker link will be in the description so you can download it because it's very useful to to the uh, for the pc which are not that good so now i'm gonna show, show you how the fps looks in uh, fps looks after you lower and uh, lower your all the graphics so if you want better fps then you should do it and i hope it will be helpful for you and yeah so for me my pc is not that bad i got 1050 ti so i just put my fps cap to 240 hertz okay 240 hertz my fps cap is on 240 hertz but you should know about your pc and if you don't then no worries i will help you out because i'm right here because i need to help you boys okay so this is my game which is lo uh, loaded and you can see it's on lowest graphics as possible okay so there you go there you go okay so what what that thing do okay now i'm gonna tell you what F uh, roblox fps unlocker do and why i'm saying it uh saying you to download it okay so now you can see the graphics okay so what we have done we deleted all the aluminium grass sky and we deleted this aluminium grass sky and all the folders and we deleted it but we have saved it to uh in future if we need to uh put it back again so yep so what that do okay right now you can see i'm getting 240 fps okay you can see uh it's like 240 fps then it's uh going to 230 fps so it's not that bad okay so i'm gonna show you what it did uh 
So what basically Roblox do if you run Roblox on Microsoft I don't know about that but if you run Roblox on browser and your Roblox is run on like none FPS none means it's not logged and un it's not logged it's unlocked okay so what it's gonna happen okay it's unlocked so if it's unlocked okay if it's unlocked so what you're gonna do okay right now before that i was getting 240 fps you see that okay so i your if you didn't have this roblox fps unlocker so you're gonna get the best fps your pc can give uh, to your game so right now the best fps my pc can give to my game is 300 fps okay so this is the best fps so it's not about the fps now you're gonna say you you are getting the better fps than before why you are not uh why you are locking it if you're getting better fps than before so the basic thing i want to tell you guys you see this you see this and you see the there is many software like discord is running and other stuff is running okay so these all stuff which is running which is running they also take cpu okay 40 so you can see roblox is taking like 44 percent cpu then obs and my chrome is taking cpu and all other stuff is taking cpu so what it did it's on unlimited fps means your all, half of the pc power is going to your uh roblox okay so what it's gonna do it's gonna slow all other things which you are running like discord is gonna slow discord is gonna slow all other stuff okay and you don't want that okay you don't want that that your uh, roblox is gonna take your half percent of cp you don't want that okay so what you're gonna do you need to download this software roblox fps unlocker and i'm gonna give uh software link is in description so if you want to download this software roblox fps unlocker the link will be in description so you're gonna do it you're gonna go to fps cap okay so it's all on your pc okay it's all depend on your pc and yeah like you have seen then the, the my task manager my roblox is taking 40 percent okay 40 percent is the like too much okay what you're gonna do you're gonna set it to like it's all depend on how much you know about your pc okay i don't know about your pc but you know about your pc so what now what is gonna happen now i'm gonna show you task manager again now see okay before it was like uh 35.2 percent and when i set to it to like uh fps cap none uh none will be the if you don't download this fps unlocker your roblox if you don't don't download this okay it, your fps are gonna be set on none okay so now see it's it's like 50 percent is my roblox game is literally taking half of my cpu and you don't want that okay you don't want that so what are you gonna do you're gonna just simply go there you're gonna click it it's gonna run okay so don't close it don't exit it. it's gonna automatically run so what are you gonna do you're gonna start with uh okay this is for the, my pc is kind of good so i don't want to do it okay uh, i will put it to 240 fps because my pc is great and yeah now you can see i'm getting 240 fps right now right now 2 f 240 fps and it's going to 238 right now wait a sec it takes some time to load the fps out now it's 240 fps then it's going to 233 fps so like uh 34 35 30, 37 38 39 40 okay my 7 fps my 7 fps fps are dropping okay my 7 fps are dropping so what are you gonna do if you don't have good pc okay you're gonna click on that you're gonna go to with 60 fps okay if it's running smoothly on 60 fps then it's great okay it's great if it's going from you can see you can see it's going from 60 to 59 okay it's going from 60 to 59 no worries it's good don't change fps don't change fps it's going from 60 to 59 but if it is going from 60 to 30 fps 60 to 20 fps then what are you gonna do that means your pc can't handle that much then you need to go with 30 fps i know 30 fps is gonna be a little bit uh, laggy choppy and other stuff but yeah you can see now my pc is giving me constant 30 fps uh, it's going from 30 to 29 30 to 29 okay when you try 30 fps if it's going from 30 to 29 30 to 28 so it's good okay don't change it but if your pc is uh, good and it can give you more fps you should go with 75 and now you will see it's it's going from 75 to 74 75 to 74 it's good okay if it's going from 75 to 70 it's good but if your fps fps are getting from 75 to 30 75 to 40 then you should definitely change it because your pc can't handle that okay 
so what you're gonna do you need to check it what's better for you for me i will go with 240 fps because my pc is best i don't know for me it's best okay so you can see that okay let it let it be load uh, yeah it's load uh yeah you can see that you can see that my it's going from now see okay now see it it's going from 240 fps to uh, wait a sec uh, some when someone join the game you will basically see fps drop because that usually happen okay uh now you can see from 240 fps it's go if you correctly see that it's going from 240 fps to 239 fps 240 fps to 239 fps 230 okay if it's going from two for my pc i set it to 240 i logged it to 240 and that means that 240 is the highest you can do so i logged it to 240 so you can see it's going from 242 to 239 okay so what is the biggest thing okay if it's going if my fps are going from 240 to 230 uh, if my fps are going from 240 to 230 to 20 to 10 okay i'm not gonna change my fps if it's going like if i'm losing 30 fps i'm not gonna change it but if my fps are going from 242 242 like 180 150 then you should uh, change it and now now you will say fizzy why you need to change the fps when you are getting your your fps are lowering lowering from 242 150 fps okay the main reason is not fps the main reason is okay when you play arsenal or other game uh, not about jailbreak it's also about all other games when you play all other games okay if you set it to the high power which your pc can't hold okay for example if you set it to 240 okay you are getting 240 fps you are happy okay you are happy now remember that if it's going from 240 to 140 fps 130 fps the main reason you're gonna get is you're gonna get the lag lag means you you can see that your freezing screen you can see the lag you can see like your aim will be not that good because your fps are gonna go down too much because when you are playing on 240 fps and suddenly your fps lower to like 130 it will feel so different to you bro you you can't believe okay so it's like lowest graphics so that's why i'm saying to lock your fps to the fps which your pc can handle and before that my roblox was taking like 50 percent now it's taking 45 percent 44 percent so it's fine better but now i will show you what you're gonna do it so the if you want that your cpu is not getting uh your cpu is not getting that much high so you need to go to like 60 60 is the best if you are playing on these graphics now see okay now just see now just see it's taking 13.2 percent 12.7 percent 11.5 percent it's far better okay so yeah that, that's uh how fps work if you don't want that your uh cpu get too much like if if your uh you don't want that your roblox use that much cpu just simply go there go there and lock your fps to like uh 60 or you can log your fps to uh, 75 and then you can just go to your task manager and then you can see that your roblox game is only taking 12.8 percent i will prefer the half of you guys uh to log it to 120 because 120 is the better and now you will see okay now it's taking like 20 percent 20 percent and the higher you go with your fps the more cpu is gonna take just remember that the higher fps you want the more cpu is gonna take so i'm just gonna put it to 240 because my graphic card is kind of great for me so yeah so right now i'm getting 240 constant fps you see that it's, it's just hop little bit down and suddenly there was like little bit lag uh blurry thing you if you have seen that closely but yeah you see that okay now i'm playing right now and you can see my 240 fps uh, it's going from 240 to 30 it's good if it's going from 240 to 200 it's good but if it's going from 240 to 150 then you should uh lower your fps because never go for the fps because if you're not your pc is not good then never go for the fps the higher fps you want the more burden it's gonna uh, give it the more burden your game is gonna give to your cpu so i will prefer you that it's all on personal uh like preference like the it's all depend on you guys how because you know better about your pc so that's it i uh, i hope it's gonna help you and the video is a little bit long because i want to explain all the stuff about this and yeah and if you want to normally if you want to your graphics back don't worry okay don't worry i know you will be scared okay you just need to go and open your file location then you need to again do the same thing uh platform pc texture what are you gonna do 
this time the folder which you made uh, roblox texture or what you're gonna name it okay whatever you're gonna name it just go inside that folder copy paste all the stuff back outside and then you delete this folder okay copy paste all the stuff back outside and delete this folder and boom you're back with your normal graphics so hopefully it will help you and it will help you to get better fps you guys in next video and yes stay safe boys see ya